Hi everyone! On this tutorial, we'll discuss about KVP or key value pairs on DFP to help you simplify your ad operations and ad optimization. KVP allows flexibility in terms of targeting. You can do custom targeting on certain pages and look at KVP like an ID that is attached to your page categories or website categories. With this ID, you can tell DFP to either target or not target that particular web page or category. So aside from that, you can also run a DFP report to compare the stats for all your web pages. Let's say, for example, you want to run a report for home page versus your content page. Generating a report with that KVP allows you to compare those numbers. And it also simplifies ad operations, especially if you have a lot of different ad units and a lot of different pages. So let's take one as an example here. You have categories or pages like homepage, news, and forum. Then you created separate ad units for each of the, those categories. And you have corresponding sizes and device targeting as well. Now, if you're very tedious because you want granular reporting to compare the different page categories and, you know, ad unit performance, you created this separate set. Now, with the use of KVP, you can simplify this. You just need one set of ad units and then use KVP to target certain categories. Now, let's go to DFP and try now to start creating our KVP. So you go to inventory and key values. Create a new key. This one is arbitrary. You can call it anything you want. For this tutorial, I'll call it test underscore page. Same for the display name. So this is now my key. And since it's key value pair, there will be corresponding values. Okay, so key and then value. And then for the values type, it could be open form or from the predefined targeting values. This is important when trafficking in the line items later. Then let's add a values. For the values, I will have my home page, news page, and form. Then I'll go ahead and save this. On your add unit list, instead of saying or using a prefix with a category name, you can just go ahead and say, use a universal name. Let's say your domain and then ATF1, domain, ATF2, and so on. So once you have a single set of universal ad units, you can go ahead and proceed to create your line item. So let's say I'm going to do a test line item, and I want this line item to serve only on the home page. Target the ad units I want to target. Choose the line item type and set up all other settings that is relevant in here. For targeting, since I only want this line item to serve on the home page, I will have to target key value. And choose the key value that we have just created, which is test underscore page, and I have to choose from the predefined values in here. Then I can also target specific ad units and all other stuff like device if applicable. So what happens is you're now telling DFP that this line item will only serve if the key value is home page. Now let's go ahead and check how to implement this or to ID certain categories or pages on our site. Let's go to inventory and add units. Go to generate tags. Choose all the relevant add units that you want to generate. Choose Google Publisher tag. And here you will see page level targeting. Click on add.
and choose the relevant key value and choose one here as well and continue. And this is now how it looks like for your header. And of course you have corresponding body tags. Let's paste the header tag in here. So if you notice, there's a line of code here that was added, which is set targeting. And then here's your key and here's your value. So this header tag goes to your home page. If you are to implement your header tag for your news page and forum page, change the value accordingly. And remember, it has to be exactly the same as what you have set up in DFB. It's case sensitive. So if you can do news, you can also do forum on where, wherever it is applicable. So for your, so you can do news for your news page and then change it to forum for your forum page. So what DFP will now do is only serve those line items with specific key value targeting only on pages where that key value is found. Now what happens if you don't target a specific KVP in your line item targeting? That means it is eligible to serve across all pages of the site with or without key values implemented. But if you choose to select specific key values, then that means DFP will only serve if that key value exists or does not exist. So you can also choose to exclude it. Let's say, for example, I say test underscore page is not home page. This is now telling DFP you can serve this line item across all the different pages of the site, except if there's a KVP found, which is called test underscore page homepage. And this is like right here. If this is deployed in your homepage, then this line item right here will not be eligible to serve on that section of your site because there's a KVP deployed, which is test page underscore homepage. Now, how do you use KVP in reporting? Let's go ahead and try to run a query and create a new query. What you can do here is target a key value if you want to separate or filter the report. So let's say I just want a KVP that contains home page, or you can also be very specific, test underscore page, so which was your key. So test underscore page equals. Now that allows you to run only key values or the report for the key values that starts with the test underscore page key, and then any values after that. Then you can go ahead and say, key values in order to break them down by key value. Then you can choose total impressions, revenue, and CPM, and you can go ahead and run. So since we have just set it up, there's no way for us to generate the, the stats yet. But just imagine having that report with this, this, and this and you have the corresponding stats for your three different categories of the site and you didn't even have to create separate set of ad units for them anymore. All right guys, would love to hear your feedback on how this has worked out for you and let us know if you have any questions. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today. We hope you enjoyed our presentation. Also, learn to monetize more by watching our tutorial series and reading our latest ad optimization tips. Please subscribe to our blog to receive periodic updates. Thanks, we'll catch you next time.